Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. <gasps> we have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. Before we start with today's myths, a lot of you guys told me that I didn't check out one of the Easter eggs that are in the game. I only didn't check it out because apparently it was super buggy with the build that I was using, but now we are trying the latest build, so let's open up the Easter egg menu, press F2, oh my God. and holy shit, dude, it's so goddamn spooky but to make it even spookier wait i was gonna put on rain but i can't open the easter egg menu oh god oh de 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 dear okay so as you guys can see it is dark as ball sack it is darker than gooch but we are going to patrol the school at night this is a cool mode like imagine if it was really night and you could break into school and like start setting up traps and stuff That'd be freaking dope. But apparently Nemesis Chan is wandering the halls, and I think we either just gotta avoid her or what? Do we gotta kill her? I'm scared. Pussy. I'm actually legit scared because I hate it when things surprise me. Okay, grab my knife, foo. Get the flashlight though. Okay, got the knife in my inventory. Just in case. Just in case I gotta shank somebody. But why is that door open? I didn't go through there. Is that where Nemesis Chan came from? Or maybe I did go through there. I'm super paranoid right now. I know you guys probably think I'm playing around, but I am legit terrified. Because usually when you play a Yandere Simulator game, there's like happy music, there's students all around the place. But all you got is a flashlight, some s Oh god, there she is! Wait, she didn't see me. What the heck? Hold up, we are gonna creep this way. She doesn't know where I am. How? Dude, that is weird. Hold up, if I make noise, is she gonna come get me? I'm running around now. Wait, 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 grab my flashlight. Where did she go? Mrs. Chan? What the fuck? What the fuck? Where did she go? Bro. Hold up. We're gonna go look for her. Uh-oh. Where the hell did she go, guys? Come on. Oh, fuck! Oh, my God! Oh! <laughs> she was waiting for us around the corner! Oh, man, that's what thoughts do. Okay, let's try this again, but this time we are going to turn on rain first, and then we're going to make it night mode. So let's turn on rain, and then put on the raincoat because we look super cute in it, and then we're going to do this mode. Wait, the rain stops when you put on this mode? Aw, oh, come on. Fuck me, silly senpai. All right, here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to create a leak, and let's see if I can offer her a bag of delicious, delicious chippoos. If I can't, then I'm probably just going to get jump scared. Because I don't know where she is. So make the leak. There you go. Oh my god, I don't know where she is. And it's so freaking dark. Hopefully you guys can see. Still don't see her. That's a good sign. No doors are open, so we don't know where she comes from. That scared me. That naked little statue thing scared me. Okay, is she going to be here? Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Okay, she's not there, I think. Plug this in. And then, uh, oh my god, she's right there. Sabotage, sabotage. Woo! She was right around the corner. I got my knife, though. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna juke her. As soon as she comes this way, we're gonna run through here, and we are gonna buy a bag of chippoos. Wait, she doesn't see me? Right there. I need you to be distracted. Okay. Once you come around, I am... Go here. Okay. Did that even make sense in the English language? I said once she comes around, go here? Yeah, that does. Okay. So let's grab a chippo. There we go. Pick up the salty snack. Turn this on. Blau. Did that even work? Wait, where's the water? Oh my god, there's no water, and there's no, like, power. Okay, so once you turn on this mode, the electricity turns off, so I can't even do that. Let me see if I can get close enough to offer her some chippoo. She's walking really fast. She's power walking. She's walking with some pep in her step. Let me see. No, there was no prompt for me to offer her the delicious chippoos, so we definitely can't electrocute her. The other thing that you guys wanted me to do was drown somebody while they're vomiting. You guys are some sick fucks, but we're gonna try that out right now, so let's do it. I think the only reason why I didn't drown anybody is because how did Pippi hear that, but he didn't? Yo, deaf ass? I can't believe that. Okay, so she's gonna come in here. We're just gonna poison this like so. And I think that the only reason, oh my god, I forgot. What are you doing to that person's food? I'm taking a shit in it. What's it look like? Let me uh see if Kudere is eating food. Yes, she is. She's eating all by herself. Yes. I love that so much, Kudere. And she heard that too. Okay. So we are going to hide right here. Wait for her to creep that ass over. And let's get it. 
Okay, poison that food. And I think the reason why I didn't drown the student that I poisoned, it's because I put the emetic poison in Senpai's bento, and if you get close to him, you know, you're gonna get that pink aura. That's why I didn't drown anybody, but we are gonna do it to Kudete right now. All right, here we go, guys. Showtime. For anybody that has the vomiting drowning fetish, I'm about to do this just for you guys. Come on. Drowner. Drowner. What? Why aren't you drowning? Hold up. I can get close to her, but there's nothing for me to drown her. What? Kudeta, stop. Throw up again. No, we gotta do this again. Okay, let me try it again with Ryoto. How is he not hearing this? Maybe I gotta do it this way? Okay, let me try it this way. Dude, no freaking way. How do you not hear anything? You know what? Here. Let me distract. Ask for a favor. I want you to distract Gemataku. Wait, he ran with his bento? Oh my god, you suck on so many levels. There we go, finally. I had to laugh at this specific angle right here. That is so weird. Okay, let him come around the corner. And there we go. Now we gonna do it, boys. Poison it, hurry. God damn it, come on. Woo! All right, hopefully this is gonna work, guys. Now we can drown him. Okay, so maybe it only works with male students. Hey, what are you? What are you? Wait, what? Wait, did you hear that? That was a girl's voice. Wait. Ryoto sounds like a little bitch when he gets drowned. You guys heard him? He was like, hey, what are you? Let me try that one more time because I could have sworn that was a girl's voice. Before we drown him, let's let him throw up a little bit. Let's see those green chunks go in the toilet. Actually, nothing's going in the toilet. Okay. And now I can't even drown him. Why? Why can't I drown him now? What? Rialto, let me put your head inside there. Let me dunk you. All right, here we go. We're going to try this one again. And now we have the drowning option. Hey, what are you? Yeah, it's a female's voice. We're drowning Rialto, but it's a girl's voice. And he's drowning with girlish screams. All right, so anybody with that vomiting drowning fetish, there you guys go. I tried that. I also tried the night mode. Let's get on to the myths. Jay, I have a myth. One, kill a student council. Two, the next day there will be cameras at school. Three, make the sink leak. Four, set up the cord. Five, wait for someone to get shocked. Six, will the cameras tape you setting up the cord and will the police say anything about it? Okay, first we gotta make sure that a camera goes around that area. Let's see. We got this one right over here. Is it gonna come over here? No, it's not. The camera isn't even gonna be in this radius. So of course I'm not gonna get caught, right? Oh wait, I forgot about this. Okay, let me see something, guys. I'm on the second floor. Let's see if there's a camera here. No, no camera here. I gotta see if there's a fountain with a camera like roaming around this radius. You know what I mean? Like, there needs to be a camera and a fountain that are within this camera's radar. Because if there isn't, then that's an easy debunk. Yeah, guys, there's no camera that has a view of a fountain. Because as you guys can see, this red radar right here, that's the only thing that it can detect. Like, all the way from there down to here. But you know what? We're gonna try it anyway, and then we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so let's get in the camera's view with the pipe wrench like so. So the camera can fully see us. Hey, camera, how you doing? And then let's create the leak. Let's grab you. And can I actually get caught with the power cord going through the metal detector? Let me see. No, I can't. Okay. So the camera saw me with a pipe wrench and it saw me with a power cord. I don't know if that's all going to work, but we're just going to find out. So plug that in. I actually got to get caught in this camera with the pipe wrench. And then we got to create the leak right here. There you go. Now we just got to get the screwdriver, the chip boost, and we got to get a victim. Here we go. Let's try it with this guy. Give the snack. Why can't I give you a snack? It's not letting me give him a snack, guys. He's just looking at me. Your footsteps scared me. Well, stop being a freaking pussy about it. Just take the damn snack. Here, I'll give you the snack then. The vending machine gave me an extra bag. Would you like it? Free food? Sure, I'll take it. See, fuckboy? That's what happens when you ain't a little paranoid pussy boy. You get free bags of chip boost. Okay, so the camera caught me giving the bag of chip boost to the girl. Let's turn this on. And then wait for her to get electrocuted. People notice that right away. That's dope. Before they didn't notice it, now they do. I like that. Okay, and then he took a picture of it. I wonder if that's going to mean anything. But anyway, the goal of this is to see if the cameras up here catch us. So let's end the day, and let's see if that works. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Hana Dadayama. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police investigate the security camera recordings and find incriminating footage of Ayane. Ayane is arrested by the police. She will never have senpai. Whoa! 
I didn't expect that to work. But apparently just walking in the camera's view with all those items, that'll get you arrested. That's actually really impressive. I didn't think that that would work. But if you make the sink leak and set up a court and wait for someone to get shocked, the cameras will pick that up and you will be arrested. On to the next one. Get a random student to go to the water fountain to get electrocuted. Ask someone to distract them. Will they stop getting electrocuted or talk when getting electrocuted? Alright, this might be a little tricky because if they notice the person getting electrocuted as they're following me, then they're gonna freak out. So I might have to go like right here so they can't see anything. And then I ask them to distract. Alright, here we go. How about we go with Ryoto's love? Let's give Pippi a snack. And then we're just gonna keep Ryoto right here so he doesn't see anything. Alright, here you go guys. She's walking over. Where the hell did Ryoto go? What? He was following me! You guys saw that, right? I didn't tell him to stop following me. He ran out this door for no reason, and then he watched Pippi get shocked. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I have an idea, guys. Give snack to you, and I don't even know your name. What's your name? Your name is Hamari Fujita. Okay, Hamari Fujita. So follow me, and then right before she goes to the fountain, I'm going to ask to distract. So she's about to go to the fountain, right? Is she? No, she's kind of walking in place. What are you doing? Why are these people not cooperating? All right, guys, I know what to do, so hopefully this works. We are going to teleport to the roof, and then we are going to ask this guy to distract Midori. Hopefully this works, because I don't think that we can give it to them when they have the chips already in their hand. So distract that person, then we're going to go down here, and then we're going to give the chip boost to Midori before the guy makes it to her and distracts her. He's running, so we got to be really fast. So let's grab this, give it to Midori, and please hurry up. The guy's going to come downstairs, so please hurry up, Midori. Is that on? Okay, now it's on. Where the hell's that guy at? Where's he at? Dude, where's Lobster Head? What? Oh my god, she's getting shocked already. Where the hell is this guy at? He walked back to the roof. So wait, once she was getting shocked, did he start to go back to the roof? Okay, let's try this one again, guys. We're gonna go to the roof, and then we're gonna ask this guy to distract Midori again. I'm gonna teleport real quick because I wanna check something out. So distract, and he said he'll do it, and he's walking towards there, right? No, he's running towards there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the chip boost, we're gonna give it to Midori, right? And then while she's eating it, we're gonna check on this guy. We're gonna see what he's doing. He's running towards her. Okay, so they can get distracted while they're eating chips, so that's a good sign. Let me see this. Let me give the snack to him, and then what? Oh my god! I didn't even realize she was actually gonna go back there! I thought she was gonna forget about it! Okay, I'm trying to time this just right, so the gamers are coming this way. I'm gonna go to the roof, and then I'm gonna ask this guy to distract Midori again, and then we gotta be super quick. So distract Midori, teleport downstairs, and he's running his ass off. He is running his Japanese ass off, so we gotta give you this real quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is not gonna work. He's coming so fast. That's what she said. Right? Yeah, and I don't even know if she's gonna go to that water fountain. Please come to that water fountain. Is she? Yes, yeah, she is. Oh my god, he went the other way and distracted her? I hate this guy so freaking much! So we're gonna use the gardening club lady to be the one to distract. There you go, and now we gotta make this quick because that girl is gonna run her gardening ass off. So pick up the chippoos, give it to Midori, and then let's see where that girl is. She runs so fast, holy shit, she's not even there anymore. Hold on, we gotta time this just right. Let me turn this on just in case. And please Midori, hurry up! Oh, there you go, she's about to come up! Oh my god, I think we can do this! I think we can do this! Midori, please! God, please! No! Don't! Don't do it! Don't do it yet! Stop, stop, stop! Okay, she did it. Oh! So wait, she's still dialing on her phone, but she's no longer distracting, but she's doing this! One, two, three, four! So to answer the question, it's basically a dead alive glitch, but instead of it happening to you, it happens to the student that's getting shocked and is getting distracted at the same time. Let me know what you guys would call this glitch in the comments down below, but thank you for asking that. On to the next one. So the electricity's back on and nothing happens. So I can't re-electrocute somebody. I know somebody was going to ask that in the comments. They're going to say, but wait, Jay, what happens if you turn the electricity back on? Do they get electrocuted again? The answer is no. I have a question. If you poison a student in Titan mode, will the vomit of that student become so huge that it looks like rain? It must be disgusting. All right, so we got our little guinea pig going over to the bathroom. I think I might have to teleport to the roof to see if the vomit actually looks like rain. And she went to the haunted bathroom. So let's go to Titan mode. That's a huge bitch. And let's go up to the roof. And where is she? Uh, there you go. She's running to nowhere. She's not even vomiting anymore. Wait, what? She was vomiting earlier. Okay, it didn't work with a female student, but maybe it'll work with a male student. So we are going to try it with Ryoto. 
We can hear him throwing up, right? Yeah, there you go. He's throwing up. You guys can clearly hear those sound effects. Titan mode and teleport to the roof. And what's he doing? He is still looking sick, but he's not throwing up. So I think once you put it into Titan mode, they start running in place like this once they become giant, and then they're no longer throwing up. So unfortunately, I don't think that we're going to see Titan vomit rain, so that is officially debunked. On to the last myth of today's episode. Jay, I found an amazing Dead Alive glitch. I did it in the February 2nd build. One, get a game over screen. I don't know if it has to be specific, but I did the apprehend game over ending glitch at the gardening club. Two, start typing ship girl, the Easter egg. You'll turn into that Easter egg. Three, take out your camera. And four, you can go into cinematic mode and walk around fine. So let me get this straight. You said get a game over screen. You don't know if it has to be specific, but you did the apprehend game over ending at the gardening club. Okay, let me try it exactly how you did it so we can hopefully get the same glitch that you did. Okay, so let's steal the shed key and then we're gonna get this wrong sure what you're trying to do but whatever it is it's not funny how do i get apprehended at the gardening club do i just wait for the student council girl to come here maybe i do sure she's right here how about i do this and then type in ship girl and it works all i had to do was just get a game over like that so wait is this really a dead alive glitch hold on let me see something see that Okay, we knocked her right out the park. And yeah, guys, this is a dead alive glitch. Look at everybody. They're loving me right now. I didn't even realize it, guys. Like, Ship Girl's been in the game for a while, and I didn't even think to do that. So what we're gonna do, we should actually try it again. Like, we got the Naifu right here. Type in Ship Girl, and boom, let's go! This dead alive glitch is so sick because you gotta type it really fast. Okay, so here's what I wanna do. Let's get pepper sprayed, and then as we're on the floor, I'm gonna type in Ship Girl. Like, right there. Let's see what happens if I type in ship girl right here. Oh my god, it still works. It still worked! So you can actually activate it while you got fully apprehended. That's pretty crazy. Wait, and now I got expelled? Wait, what? I just killed them with the cannonballs and then I got expelled? I'm actually having a lot of fun with this glitch right now. So let's see once we get a game over with Senpai if I can still activate the ship girl as we're going through that little mini cutscene. Okay, I think we're about to get a game over screen. There you go. Ship girl. Boom! Let's go! Look at the way I'm moving. I look like I'm high on acid. Oh my god, this is so awesome. Hold on. Instead of speeding up time, we gotta do it real time, and then I gotta activate Ship Girl again. Okay, I think we're about to get a game over. There we go. Okay, once it goes to us, Excuse then we're gonna put on Ship Girl. Please stop doing that. You're scaring me. Alright, here we go. Ship Girl time, baby! Let's go! And we got that face that we know and love. But the screen's still black. But I can walk around like this. This is honestly the best face in this whole game. And when I take out my camera, I can't see anything. But I can still shoot my cannons, right? Yeah, I can hear it. But I don't think that I'm getting anybody. Okay, last one we're gonna do is a group of teachers apprehending me. So let's end the life, Oh, wait, what? Okay, ship girl. There you go. I did it. I'm right here, bitch. What's up? Shocker. Kill her. What am I doing? Why do I still have that look in my face? Wait, what? Oh, my God. Dude, can I kill her? What? Oh my god. Okay, um, we're just gonna uh, apologize. I apologize. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead, dude!